So there I am, in my room, chilling out, playing some Remnant from the Ashes, and I get this realization about the game. Remnant feels way more to me like I'm playing Baldur's Gate than Dark Souls with guns. Now I know what you're thinking. Tao, Baldur's Gate is an isometric western style RPG. How is it anything like Remnant from the Ashes? And you'd be right, except I'm not talking about traditional Baldur's Gate. I'm talking about goddamn Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance on the PS2. Sure, Remnant has all those surface level Dark Souls thing like bonfires, dodge rolling, stamina, fog walls, etc, etc. But the overall kind of vibe of the game feels way more similar to Dark Alliance than it does to Dark Souls, you know, to me. See, Dark Souls is actually kind of engaging. There's like thought to be put into a build, exploration to do, things to find, PvP to lose at, quests to go on, while Remnant feels a hell of a lot more linear and a hell of a lot more brain dead than any Souls game I've played. Half the traits, like half the skills in Dark Alliance, are completely fucking useless, and you don't need to give a shit about where you put your feet points in Baldur's Gate to be effective, just like how you don't need to worry about, you know, trait points going into whatever in Remnant. Just like how in Baldur's Gate you stomp around whatever given map smashing anything that moves with a sharp object, Remnant has almost the exact same feel, except instead of a big stick or a sword, it's a gun. I don't know, maybe I'm not getting the point across very well, but you know, I was just shooting stuff in a swamp in Remnant and it reminded me instantly of Dark Alliance 1 when you're smacking lizards with a fucking sword in Dark Alliance. It just has the same feel. I know what I'm talking about. Don't worry, you don't have to understand it. But don't get me wrong though, that doesn't mean I think Remnant is a bad game, because let me tell you, I fucking love Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. It's one of those old PS2 games I come back to at least once a year. Remnant is a lot more stiff, and the Souls elements that are there make the game sort of irritating and exhausting to play, so I probably won't be coming back to it in a hurry when I finish it, but you know, I'm still, for the most part, having a good time. One thing that made me almost fall out of my chair laughing though, I reached an area called the Deserts of Rom, and I once found this TikTok meme, I think it's a TikTok meme, of how Arab countries are portrayed by Hollywood. And I swear to God, the game does the whole pan of the desert thing with the fucking sitar music and a lady covered in fabric, as the meme puts it, dropping to her knees to tell me the next quest. It's so fucking cliche and the area in general was boring as shit. Like, I kid you not, there were three or four separate areas in that zone with the exact same layout that had been reused with maybe a little bit at the start and the end, you know, that had been changed up so that you're not confused when you go in and think you're going in circles when you're going out, you know? Uh, fucking hilariously shit bit of level and world design right there. Anyway, aside from Remnant, I've been slowly picking away at Breath of Fire as well, and while I'm enjoying it because, you know, it's a cozy little JRPG for me, it's another one of those games where I'm amazed at just how long the series went on for. The first game is so basic, and the combat spends so much time being nothing but choosing the attack command over and over, that the fact there were sequels to such a game is kind of impressive. Good thing too, because the later games are really good. Uh, the one game in the series I've not played is Dragon Quarter, and I've been told that game is ass, but I'm going to try it anyway. The internet also told me that Countdown Vampires was ass, and I had a really good time with that. So fuck the popular opinion, I'm going to play it and see what's up. And finally, speaking of opinions, I want to highlight two free-to-play games I beat on stream. The first was the Lancaster Leak Crisis at the Call Center, which rounds out my playthroughs of that trilogy of games. It was better than O'Brien State Park, but not quite as entertaining as Entity Exam. So despite me being, you know, highly critical of these games uh, for being kind of try-hard and unscary, I'm kind of hoping we get more of them, to be honest. And also, I played something called Doronko Wanko, a free-to-play game from Bandai Namco, of all people, about a dog making a mess. It was cute and kind of funny for about 10 minutes, and then got very boring. Maybe if you really like Pomeranians, you might have a bit of time with it than I did, but otherwise, just fucking skip it. It's cute, but ultimately not worth it. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm going to go play some more Remnant, so that maybe by the next time I make a vlog, I will have beaten it. So, peace.